a rare opportunity to hear from the Brotherhood itself. Dr. El Arian, thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming to a new Egypt. Um, you are the face of the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, you are the spokesman. Uh, you are very senior in the organization. So let's start by just introducing you to, the, to my viewers. Uh, what do you do? I'm a physician, earning my life from hematologist and uh, as laboratory man. So you're a hematologist? Yeah, I am, I'm still a hematologist and lab. And yet you are a senior figure in the Muslim Brotherhood, and the Brotherhood has been banned for many, many years until recently, of course. Did you spend any time in jail? I spent about seven years, 10 months in jail. I was charged by managing and affiliating to Muslim Brotherhood, which was uh, an uh, outlawed organization. So it was just the fact that you belong to the Muslim Brotherhood or that you managed? Only. No charges of any activities except political, social, and educational activities. Now, you know that many people in the Western world particularly uh, think of the Muslim Brotherhood as an organization that is, uh, believes in political Islam or violence or extremism or jihad. Um, wh what do you say to people like that? Wh wh I say to them, you must go to Islam itself to understand Islam. Islam is Islam. And I think Islam is a very peaceful religion. It's the way of life. It is uh, cooperating with all others, respecting all religions, respecting humanity. Uh, respecting peace and uh, prosperity, working for peace in the world. What did you think of the, of the assassination of o Osama bin Laden? We, as Muslim Brotherhood, condemned violence from any side. We were waiting for a, a trial for Osama bin Laden because we want to know the truth about everything which uh, was uh, directed, charged by Osama bin Laden himself. And also we are against any intervention, mainly by force, by violence, which uh, uh, violates the sovereignty of any country, especially Pakistan. And we ask it in our statement after killing Osama bin Laden that it is the time to withdraw troops from Afghanistan after destroying the country and also from Iraq. Mr. Obama promised his uh, voters, not us, that he is going to end such war, which uh, was uh, killing more than whom killed in 11 September. I may be now, millions were killed. Do you think terrorism is ever justified? Nobody can justify terrorism at all. Killing innocent people is condemned in all religions, in any law. Do you believe that a woman is worth half a man because the Sharia says a woman's testimony counts as half, a woman would inherit half as much as a man, a man can divorce a woman, but a woman cannot divorce a man. But Sharia also said woman is equal to man. And these cases you mentioned must be explained and understood in the whole context of the Sharia. Woman in some cases inherit more than men. And women in, such in some cases may, may have equal to the men. And in, such, in, many, in some cases it can have half of the men. Mm -hmm. It depends in every case. One of the questions that lots of people have, and this is not just Westerners, this is Egyptians who tell me, ask him, what does he want to do? What do the, does the Muslim Brotherhood want to do if they do achieve power, if they get power in Egypt? What is their vision for Egypt? And so what would you change? Would you like to see stricter interpretation of Sharia? Would you like to see uh, women given subordinate right uh, rule, uh, roles? What is it that your vision is? I would like those Egyptian people to ask me face to face, not via media. And we are... You can't talk to 80 million with, Egyptians, so I'm can, going to do can, it for you. Because uh, not all Egyptians uh, uh, watch uh, CNN, <laughs> so they are facing us everywhere. And first of all, we are not going to catch power in Egypt. 
but what would you try to, uh, what, what would you change about Egypt today? We are going to have independent, democratic, civil country. This is our main goal now. And I think this is gaining a very national consensus between all Egyptians. The people are the main source of authority. The only source of authority is the people themselves. So would you support a, the, the kind of civil law that Egypt has now rather than a religious law? In Islam, you don't have a religious law. In Islam, you have a civil law. Civil law means that the people have the decision in their parliament after keeping in mind the reference of Sharia, reference of Islam. Would non-Muslims have the same rights as Muslims? Non-Muslims, even infidels, in an Islamic state or civil state with a background of reference of Islam, Sharia, have equal rights and equal duties. The kind of program you're presenting uh, sounds very moderate, sounds very modern. Why do you think people are still so suspicious? And I say again, in Egypt, lots of people tell me their intentions are not fully democratic. Because the people are facing the unknown. Unknown is democracy, not Muslim brothers. Unknown is state of law, not Muslim brothers. The whole chance now, it is the first time for them to have the power by themselves and to elect a parliament by themselves and to appoint a president by themselves. This is the first time for both since two centuries. So they are facing unknown. Suspicious is not towards us only. It is towards everything. What is the action you want to see from President Obama? We ask it stop supporting dictatorships, spot neglecting the Palestinian rights, uh, stop the war on terrorism which damaged the Islamic world, and unfortunately, he never done so. Esam El thank you very much. Thank you.